So I've got my degree transcripts ready to go and I'm gonna just go down the list and see exactly what it took for me to get a degree in biology. So I thought it would be fun today if I dug out my old degree transcripts, resurrect some memories of all of the different modules, and let you know exactly what it took to get a degree. Okay, so autumn of 2014, I had just moved into Dundee. I knew absolutely no one in the city. I was feeling really nervous, and I moved into halls that were right in the middle of campus, and I moved in with seven complete strangers into halls, which was so much fun. It was really good to begin with. <laughs> And Dundee is quite a small campus, so I could get to any class within like 10 minutes. Um, and the union was really close by, so I could get to and from a night out within like a one minute run in heels. It was good. So in the first term of uni, I had four modules. Two were lectures and two were labs. My first class was the early years, which was basically evolution from the top. And then it was Weigel Multicellular, which was kind of the extension of the evolution module. I remember my very first lecture, so we basically had this lecturer turn around to us and said like, if anyone doesn't believe in evolution, get them out. And yeah, it was a very sharp entry. But we did have two lab modules, so we were immediately into six hours a week of labs, which was a lot, but it was good. One of the modules as well had field trips, so we went to two different beaches, one with rock pools, one with sand dunes, um, and yeah, that field trip was an absolute disaster. So basically there had been some forestry commission stuff going on and that meant that our bus could not get in to pick us up so we had to walk back to the nearest village and honestly I think we were walking for over two hours. So yeah that was a huge disaster and all of us got A's because they made us walk for hours. And then the other one was kind of basic lab stuff so we learned how to use a Gilson pipette and basically pipetted water. And I also had one optional module, which I chose to do a creative writing one. It was called The Poison Pen, and it was basically write your own Agatha Christie story and make it scientifically accurate. So yeah, it was pretty fun. Then in the second semester of first year, we got to do more lab work where they actually let us do some cool science. So I did my first PCR and I ran my first gel. So I have no idea what I ran on the gel, but I've dug out, <laughs> I've dug out the first gel that I ever did. Super proud. And at this point, it also looks like I got introduced to our studio. So I've dug out my first uni presentation and wow, it looks t terrible. There is no title. The title of each slide seems to be on the bottom rather than on the top. Oh, the font gets even smaller here. And then a bunch of uncentered references, one of which is a YouTube video. So I'm not sure how scientific that is, but I don't know. I mean, YouTube reviews did get me through my undergraduate degree. I'm not sure that citing them on a graded PowerPoint is particularly clever. And my grades were looking really good at the end of first year. So I passed everything, I moved out of halls, and I bought a one-way ticket to Barcelona. So I spent the summer of 2015 working in summer camps for kids, teaching them English, which was really fun. Then I came back and went straight into second year of uni. So in second year, the modules were um, very deceiving. So the module called The Evolution of Modern Life, um, it was a lie. It was full of statistics. I don't know how they got the name of that. Um, it was Fool R Studio, which is that coding based statistics software. Um, very unfriendly, but completely free, so I think that's why they used it. Um, and it was in lecture form. The exam was good. I think I did well in the exam. But I feel like teaching statistics in a lecture hall is not ideal. So the next module was the gene and the cell, which was DNA, mitosis, meiosis, transcription, translation. And this is where I started learning things that were really useful. So we were also still doing two labs a week, which was six hours. Um, and these started getting slightly more fun at this point. So we did a forensics lab, which was cool. We had like fingerprints on beer mats and we were looking at hair under the microscope to try and solve some crime. And for my optional module, I took bio, inorganic and organic chemistry. We did learn how to use some cool softwares like ChemDraw. So I still thought at this point, I really loved chemistry, um, but I think I took this module because there was no exam at the end of it, which was a good plan because I got a really high mark in it. And then for the second semester of second year, this is where the two different degree options came forward. So there was biomedical sciences and there was biological sciences. Um, and I was on the stream for biomedical because I was based for a pharmacology degree. But as soon as we started this, I realized that I wanted to switch. And everyone had to do the two core and then we were allowed to split later. So for the biomedical core, we did some neuroscience, some respiration, some cardiovascular stuff. 
Um, and then in the biological style, we had immunology, virology, microbiology. And this was much more up my street. I got super excited when I started studying immunology. So then I signed myself over and it was actually really easy. I knew a lot of people who came into uni to study one thing and then they just changed the modules so that they were studying another thing. Um, but I did beat myself up about it. I thought that because I'd gone in to study one thing, if I didn't study exactly that, then I would be disappointing people. But honestly, that was complete insanity. So I'm really glad that I just chose what I enjoyed studying. And, and then towards the end of second year, we started doing some really cool synthetic biology labs. So we worked with fluorescent proteins for the first time. We were trying to make some fluorescent bacteria and we didn't manage it, my group, but anyway, we still got this really cool picture and I was so proud of making this. <laughs> some other people had drawn pictures and stuff, but we just wrote CFP for cyan fluorescent protein and it was the coolest thing we had ever done in the lab. I was so pleased with myself. And from January onwards of second year, I had started applying for a bunch of summer internships. So I got accepted for a summer scholarship from my uni where they would pay me to go into a lab for eight weeks. And someone luckily took me in their lab. I was completely useless. Like I was beyond useless in this lab for the first week, but it gave me so much experience. It was really, really useful. That was a really fun summer getting into a research lab for the first time. And then I went back into classes to start for third year. And third year, was the toughest year of my uni degree. So third year, the jump between second year and third year was horrendous. Yeah, third year first semester completely broke me. So we started off with four compulsory modules for everyone in biological. And the four modules were molecular structures and interactions, which was basically crystallography and protein structure. And it was very handy to know all the information, but it was really tough. And then we got to the worst module that I've ever sat. So this was, biochemistry and cell biology. And on the surface, I was really excited for this module because in my summer placement, I'd been reading the textbook, um, but the exam was just horrendous. So I got a D in my exam, but I then got a reference that told me I was in the top third of my class for that exam. So yeah, everyone was very upset with that module. And the worst part of it was the other component to that module was a group YouTube video. There was one girl in our group who basically had to edit the whole video and that was hours of work and everyone else could just kind of, you know, turn up and chit chat and film a little bit here and there. Yeah, that was a terrible assignment. But because third year, first semester was so hard, I did actually learn how to use voice recording software on my phone and I just voice recorded every single lecture. And I also started taking really good notes on my laptop. So I started using OneNote, which was really good. Um, you can basically shimmy it down into your different projects and then your different lectures. But yeah, third year, first semester was the absolute worst. I had three public breakdowns. I made good use of the library. I hardly saw any daylight in winter and it was horrendous, yeah. And because everything in third year, first semester was compulsory, there was absolutely no slack. But the second half of third year got a little bit better because all of the classes were then optional. So, so I chose to study cell signaling, which was super handy. Basically all of my classes were helped by having studied cell signaling and immunology, which was so interesting to me. That was my favorite class. I also did a practical project, which was trying to clone more color pigment genes into different organisms. I was so useless. We got some DNA prepared by a PhD student and we didn't do the maths properly. So we literally used all of the DNA in the first reaction and then had to beg for more. It was real bad. Well, I basically spent 10 weeks doing PCRs and nothing worked. And then we looked back at the first and there was like a really faint band there. So that was soul destroying. And then my fourth optional module was basically cancer biology prerequisite. So it was called cell proliferation and survival mechanisms in underlying disease. An absolute mouthful, basically it was just cancer biology. It was a brand new module, so they hadn't quite figured out how to assess us and the exam was super lax. So they basically gave us 10 attempts an online exam that was open book and yeah. Everyone did really well on the exam and everyone loved it. So in the summer of 2017, I had my second lab placement, which was so helpful. I actually feel like I understood what was going on in the lab this time. And the lab that I did that summer placement in, they actually agreed to take me on for my honours project. So that was super great. I kind of knew where things were and knew a little bit about the project and the lab beforehand. And then I went into my fourth years. So the first three years of my uni were for a bachelor's of science. And then the fourth year was the honours year. So in my fourth year, I did my honours project in a lab. And the way that my uni did it was really great. So we basically had the first semester, 10 weeks of solid nine to five, or however long you wanted to work, nine to nine labs. And then in the second semester, we had taught classes again. So the first semester in my lab, I absolutely loved my honours project. It was so much fun. 
and I think we got a lot more done being able to work in the lab full time and not have to nip out to lectures all the time. And then December of fourth year came and it was pure hell. So I had posters to hand in, I had presentations to do, I had a general exam um, which they'd given you the questions in advance to study for but still it was a lot to study for. Um, at the same time I was applying for a bunch of PhD projects and then to top it all off I had to write a thesis which was due at the start of January. So yeah December of honours year was absolute hell but I did it all. I got a prize in my poster which was so fun. Um, I think my tip for posters is don't just make the poster you kind of need to have a speech to go along with it and introduce it as like a hey do you want a minute to read through or should I talk you through everyone should be talked through your poster because no one actually wants to stand and read a poster. But yeah, I really enjoyed presenting my honours project and my thesis got sent away in good time. Um, I did have a blip, I was submitting at like five minutes to the deadline and then I read through and I realised that half of my images were missing. So I had a panic email to the supervisor to resubmit. So that was stressful to get my honours project in but I did it. And I don't think I had a single day's break in the whole of fourth year until like April. Yeah, I was mad. And then after January, so I had two classes for five weeks and then I had another two classes for five weeks. I don't know why they did it like that, but it worked out fine. So the classes that I chose in fourth year were advanced cell signaling and advanced cell signaling was a super good class. The exam as well was really nice. I think they had three different lectures and you knew there was going to be a question from each of the three lectures, but you only had to answer two. So I only actually studied two of the things, which was really nice. I did advanced immunology which was amazing. Um, yeah that was so fun. Another module I did was applied bioinformatics and that was super fun. It was a lot of hard work and a lot of problem solving but when bioinformatics works it's super enjoyable for me. So I really enjoyed that and the other module I did was cancer biology and in this we had a lot of journal clubs. So basically a journal club is where you summarize a paper and present it to everyone else and that was a steep learning curve. And because I did one of the bioinformatics modules that had no exam, I sat three finals. And then in the summer after my finals, I worked as a technician in the lab that had had me for the summer project and the honours project. So that was so fun. And I had my graduation day in Dundee. When you have your graduation, they give you like a bop on the head with a bonnet. That's the tradition. I didn't ask questions. Also, on the day that I graduated, so did Gary Lightbody, the guy from Snow Patrol. Although when they were just about to bring him up on stage for a speech, he had actually run off to the toilet. So we had to wave on him for like two minutes to come back in and he was so embarrassed. Um, and there was someone who graduated with a guide dog. So their guide dog got a little bop on the head. So my graduation was super fun and then I jumped straight in to doing a PhD. So yeah, and that was that. Four years of a biology degree at Dundee Uni was complete. If you enjoyed this video then feel free to stick around and subscribe. I'm currently wading my way through doing a PhD and make videos on science and I will see you in the next video. Bye!